Digital footprint, um, remind me, somebody. Digital footprint, yeah. It's your history of what you did on the site. On any site, where? Anywhere. On the internet. <laughs> All right. My name is Brian Van Dyke, and I teach at Bookser Middle School in Santa Clara Unified School District. I'm gonna actually show you my digital footprint. We're gonna Google me. Today's lesson is about digital footprints and what kids need to know about their activity and their actions online and the fact that they are creating a footprint that is very permanent. So let's see what happens when you Google myself. So we'll type in my name here and I discovered when I did this, there is another person that spells their name just like mine. You can see all my professional communities, my Twitter page, my Google Teacher Academy, everything that I do professionally is up here. And as you I want them to really see that I've taken a great deal of attention into creating my digital footprint so that when they go on and they search me, they'll realize, wow, he makes sure everything on the front is very professional and related to his life and his career. We're gonna be doing the Trillion Dollar Footprint today and we're gonna be doing an activity called Choose a Host. The lesson that we're gonna be teaching today is that I can present it as more of a problem that needs to be solved or a challenge. And I find the curriculum to be one of those things that really engages children in a project when they're given a challenge. Today, you're all producers for Trillion Dollar Footprint, a popular TV show that tours the country looking for teens to compete in a national, a nationwide talent show. You're looking for a new host for the show. Executive producer has hired a private investigator to dig up whatever he or she can about the candidates online. Okay, in your books, on the following pages, and if you didn't bring your book, that's why we're in groups, because someone in your group has their book, you're going to read through Linda's profile and Jason's profile. Now we're gonna have to make some inferences, because the information isn't complete, and you're gonna draw conclusions based on those two key points. Do they work well with others, and are they honest? They'll be broken into groups, and they will be reading through these profiles, and they'll be creating a list of the strengths and weaknesses as far as working well with others. They're gonna be looking for evidence to back up their statements and their conclusions as to, is this person honest? Does this person work well with others? We've got 15 minutes. He seems a lot more, like, honest and humble. He, he said he's single, humble. but he's lying as honesty, too. He's 25, but he's 23. Okay, he's these are the things. Point these out. These are all those little itty bitty tiny pieces of inconsistencies that people put. You know? So each child is going through the examples, will be taking their own notes. Then they will collaborate and come together and meet a group decision, and that group decision will be recorded in the form of a document that then can be shared with the entire class. And at the end, we will share out what their each group's decision was, but the evidence behind their decision and how they formulated their opinions. At least he's honest. He's but he's doing something illegal. Just a couple weeks ago, we did this with English, and we had the entire class up in an uproar, arguing between two different things. Because you can debate things, and you have that debate where you can sit there and say, no, but this person really did a better job. Like, you can compare things between the two people. He's honest. Like, yeah, yeah he, I did that. I I'm accept good. my flaws. Can we call on your group? You're the one that's going to tell the decision and give us... Uh, Three reasons why. So ladies and gentlemen, can I get your attention? Do I have any volunteers? What group wants to uh, go first? We're picking Jason because we think that he's gonna be a, he's gonna be honest and then, and then Linda, I don't think she's gonna really take it serious. When we looked at her stuff, she kinda, it seemed like she didn't really care about the kids that were gonna be on the show, but he said he um, would like to show the kids his own talents and encourage them to even though if they didn't get on the show, to keep doing their talents. Our group picked Jason because he's very open and he works in a band, so he must work well with others. The kids did a fantastic job, and the takeaway was how difficult it was when it came down to having to pick one of the two people. So it sounds like you picked Linda by default because Jason just had too many bad things about him. Yeah. Based on his online profile. 
for Jason's profile, why we are against him, is because he did lie about everything on his profile, mostly. Tell he us. lied about his age, he lied about where he lives, he lied about his hometown. Wow, so you guys were like, you ripped Jason apart. I think the kids got it, and one of the big pieces of evidence was one little boy during the discussion after said, even though you take something down from the internet, once it's there, it's still there somewhere. And if somebody wants to find it, they can. So you really have to be careful before you put anything on the internet. So I think that that really hit home that, whoa, we are leaving these footprints, and unlike footprints in the sand, these online footprints are permanent.